Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here with a viewer requested uh, video. Um, I've had lots of requests about this um, journal cover focal, I call it a uh, slow stitch focal piece, but um, some people have called it a journal uh, topper and various things like that. So um, I wanted to come on and just do some slow stitching. I have this one that I prepared, I think in Scrappy Saturday. And so that's what we're going to stitch. Um, let me get the high and hugs done here. Let's do that first. High and hugs to Marsha, Bookshop Shelly, Jenny, and Inked Pulp. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. And um, yeah, so it's going to be a relaxing video, I do think. So the first thing I wanted to just point out is, you know, I've done the belly bands, the slow stitched belly bands multiple times. It's really kind of the same thing. I mean, really, you could put that on the front of a journal as well. And I might do that <laughs> It's just another size. So really, these are just a little bit, I just do these a little bit wider. The, this is five by, oh, a little over six and a half. So anyway, that's that's the explanation. I have got out my, all my stitch and stuff here. I've got my little thing of, um, of, embroidery thread. I purchased a couple of purples. I had no purple. Can you believe that? So um, I'm just going to, I I didn't pre-thread any needles because um, I wasn't sure. This is a lot like um, anything else I do. <laughs> I, I don't always, I don't know what I'm going to do until I grab it. But um, I will say, slight disclaimer, Let's let's pick out a purple. I think I'm going to use the darkest purple that I have for around the edges. Um, I I just kind of like to uh, do just a running stitch around the edge, so then it's all um, attached to the base fabric is what I would call this, and then I just layer the other fabrics on top of it. Um, but my disclaimer is that. I am not an expert stitcher, not even close. Like, um, I did a little embroidery in, you know, in the past, not a whole ton. And so, um, if you want to learn new stitches, um, you know, see an expert do it, <laughs> whatever, I would recommend Ann Brooke, textile artist on, um, on YouTube and I'll link her and Rachel at Roxy Creations. Those are the two that I have learned some things from, so would recommend them. Okay, this is embroidery thread, so there's six strands, as you may know, and if you don't, then you're right there with me, being a newbie. Anyway, um, in general, I pull it apart three and three. So, the good news is your thread goes doubly far and um, yeah and I'll, I will also say I'm super awkward at this because of this compression glove but I have found that my um, my wrist does a whole my wrist and thumb do a whole lot better with it than they do without it so it's kind of my standard I put it on right as I'm going to, as I'm going to stitch. Okay, what did I do with my needle? There it is. It's already threaded on the needle threader because I can't thread a needle on my own to save my life. So I just use these little needle threaders and it makes life a lot easier. So, so there's that. <laughs> So I don't know. I have no idea what I'm going to chat about while we do this, but um, we'll just chat. Okay, so we're knotted. We're ready to go. Now, hopefully, I'll be in a spot where you can see me. I'm going to, I'm trying to decide. I think I'll just go along here and then, um, and then just go around. 
and um, I don't know I just really like the framing I did get a question from somebody on that other um, on the other cover they said why don't you um, before you put the cover together why don't you stitch machine stitch on your topper well I didn't want to machine stitch that one because it's slow stitched all around the edge and um, so that's why so I just used Fabri-Tac and glued it is what I did and and that was kind of the question why'd you do that instead of sewing it on with the machine but that's kind of the point with this is just to have the hand stitching and um, sort of the extra care and time that that it takes so this is one of my favorite TV activities really this is probably the first time that I've slow stitched that I haven't been watching TV so a few weeks ago when we were when let's see I think it might have been it might have been the time that um, we were babysitting the granddaughters. I don't know. Anyway, I took my slow stitching and watched the Olympics <laughs> while I slow stitched. It was great. I loved it. So, like I say, I'm super awkward with this. And, and part of it is the thread sticks to my glove, to this glove. So, I don't know. Makes things challenging. But, um, and... Like I say, not an expert, but I had so many requests to do this. So I'm right-handed, and so I go from right to left doing the running stitch. I mean, I don't know if that is different for a left-handed person. I don't know, because I'm not left-handed. But it works best for me to just go this way. So every now and again, I like to drop my thread because it does kind of get twisted. And I don't know. That's just something I've always done. I don't know if it's a it's a thing that that the pro stitchers do. <laughs> so I was as you know, I was doing the Ann Brooks challenge and learning some new stitches and all of that. And my my thumb right here, it just gave out. It couldn't it couldn't do slow stitching every single week. It just, it just wasn't going to happen. It was made me sad because I was really enjoying it, but it was kind of like either that or, or do my normal crafting. And so I had to give it up, but I did make some kind of cool tags. I only remember those are over there and put those in some of my journals, but yeah. So anyway, that was kind of sad to have to give that up, but I just did. Um, oh, then we have this. So I guess we'll end up going around it as well, because I'll have both sides done once we go around the perimeter here. So I usually do two stitches at once. If the if the fabric is thin enough, if if you've got you know multiple layers, or it's like say it's a crochet doily or something on your piece, then you might not be able to. I'm sorry if that's in your face when I unwind. Um, you may not be able to. You might just be able to do one. And sometimes I've had thick enough that just poking down through once I couldn't even go down and up. I had to just go down and then back up from the back side because it was just too thick. So yeah, I thought I'd do this video and then um, I'm going to my friend's house. She moved during COVID and I haven't seen her house yet. We've gone to lunch a few times, but I haven't seen her house. So I'm excited to do that. And then, um, then I need to stop at Target or Hobby Lobby. Probably safer to stop at Target. <laughs> but um, 
I have uh, I have to get a eight by ten frame for little Leaf's newborn picture that's going to go by his um, by his mixed media canvas on the grandkid wall. Yep, we have a grandkid wall. We have a kid wall with all their senior pictures on there, which resembles them. <laughs> They've changed a lot as they've grown up, as we all do. So, um, but anyway, I didn't have an 8 by 10 frame. So, I thought I would grab one. Mike went to the drugstore the other day and got the, got the picture done. So, got to get him up with all of his, well, his cousins and his siblings. So... Yeah, it's so sweet having all their little newborn pictures. And I figure someday when when I'm gone, they can take their newborn picture in a frame and their Nana canvas. And then they'll be, sorry if I was out of camera. I tried to zero in. Let me just check of where I'm at. Okay. Um, I tried to zero in a bit more than normal so that you could see what it was I was doing. Got to be careful of that pen. I don't want to, don't want to sew it in particularly. So, um, yeah, I hope this isn't a, well, if it's a super boring video to anyone, feel free to just, just move along. Because <laughs> it is what it is. And there were so many requests that I'm like, I need to just do a slow stitch one. And they, I, I've hesitated because, like I said, I'm, to I'm totally awkward. But then, um, but also it's a little different from what I normally do. And so I, I just didn't know. But so many people said, where's the video of you doing that cover? <laughs> that cover piece. And I'm like, I, there isn't one because I was watching TV while I did it. <laughs> oh, there isn't one, but I'll do one. That's what I said. So, so yeah, I don't know that I'll get another video done today. I, you know, as you know, I've been really working at getting, getting ahead for the trip to Denver but I don't I don't know if I'm gonna make it but you know I know you guys don't care if um if I if there's a day without a video there is nearly 2,000 videos out there <laughs> under my channel <laughs> probably if you were just dying to watch a Gail video you could find one <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's so crazy how they add up, especially when you do one every day. Well, I guess that's 365 of them a year, isn't it? Yep. See how awkward I am? Oh, my gosh, Gail. And I watch Rachel, and she just is going. <laughs> just like. But here's the thing, guys. If I can do this, anyone can do it. So there's the... um. There's the silver lining there. Okay, I think I'm going to just wind this off now. Ouch. Yep, poke myself all the time too. So what I do on the back is just go through the base piece to do the little knot. And I just go through twice and... That's how, that's how I do it. I don't know if it's the right way. Yeah, and that's, that's the other disclaimer is my way is not necessarily the right way. So I have this little box of threads that someday will become something. So um, I'll be throwing those on to some project probably. Okay, where's our other little piece of that color? Yeah, so anyways, um, but I don't think I have anything tomorrow, so I can get several videos done. And the, um, 
the Bella Rosa journal is done. So, so that's good. And um, I can... I think I'm going to move on to fall is what I'm going to do. Maybe do a few um, videos of some ephemera because I don't, I don't have pre-made ephemera for the, for the fall journals really. So, and I want to do at least two of them because there's two kits that I want to use. One from... Jolene at a jewel design and then the other from Joey Cardmaker and so yeah I really I want to do both of those so oops sorry I might have got, got that a little close to myself again gotta adjust my glasses so I can see <laughs> um yeah so anyways I think I'm gonna gonna move on to fall a little bit um and then like any of the, like the Roxy Creations Challenge, I might just try and do in fall colors or something. Or at least do a couple in there. Okay, so see how we're at the end. Now I have to tie it off again, which is kind of a bummer that I didn't make it further. So that kind of frames it out. So I'm liking it so far. We'll just knot this off and then I need to go back and do um, do the frame around the believe word and um, I think I said this when I put the topper on that other journal but when I glue it to the journal I try and go over any knots so that they are not only knotted, but they're also glued. So just FYI. Let's see. I guess we'll do this one first. So I'm just going to go right about here. And go down the line on it. Ow. Yeah. I've yet to bleed on a piece. I will I will say that. Oh, that just didn't go well. Let's get that pin out of there. Um yeah, so I haven't bled on anything yet, but you know, now that I've said that, this will be the piece that gets it. <laughs> oh. And then so once I kind of get the framing out done, then I kind of try and think, is there another another stitch I would want to use or uh, something like that? I have a thought for these dots, although I thought more of them showed than do, than do so I don't know. You know, it's just whatever. Whatever moves you. Yeah. And whatever stitches, you know, that's the, that's it for me. I have some books and I keep thinking that I'm going to, um, teach myself some more, some more stitches, but then I just go back to, go back to the, these basic ones. But you know, the good news is on that too, is that you can do the basic stitch and still it still is cool i mean it's just um sorry this is not want to go through my hands a little slippery i have some um wipe them on my pants uh i have some hand lotion on which probably wasn't a good idea um but anyway you know even just this basic stitches give it texture and and make it kind of fun and so so yeah you don't have to be doing some big old complicated sort of um stitch you can just do the basics and it still makes it cool i think um like i love the things from um uh, 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 two sisters general store on Etsy and most of her things are um, running stitch just like we're doing here 
So, but it just, it just gives them such a cool look, I think. This is going to be a little poofy. I might take off those other pins and see. Not that, I don't care if it's poofy. It's just, it's just more. And I can't do that. Well, yeah, I can. I can go down right beside it. I'll just go right down there with a teeny weeny little one. Okay. Now, if this was closer together, say it was up here, I would just go ahead and go back in and stitch because I'd use more thread knotting it off than I would going this distance, if that makes sense. So I kind of look at that too, like, will I use more thread knotting it off than I will just making a jump across the fabric? I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if anything I'm doing makes sense today. This is this is a little different. And and usually when I'm slow stitching, I'm not talking. I'm watching TV. So there's that too. I'm just gonna see if that'll smooth down just a skosh. Okay, I'm not gonna stitch there. I'm gonna start here. Because I wanna do this separately. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, get rid of this pin. Okay. Now, we'll just finish off that little part right there. I'm going to go this way. Strings. I'm going to go this way because then I can hide something under there if need be. Okay. And we're off. Well, maybe. So looks like I'm going to do another purple journal, doesn't it? <laughs> I, I kind of like doing the, you know, um, color theme. It's, it, that's kind of fun. So, um, and I have lots of purple stuff, so it's not my favorite color. I know it's a lot of you guys' favorite color. It's not my favorite color, but See, that's so thick that I'm just going to go down like that and then come back up because otherwise I'm not going to be able to get it through probably. I'd have to finish her off that way. Um, I want to tell you about a movie we watched last night that was so good. It was called Coda, C-O-D-A, and it was on Apple TV. We kind of forget about watching Apple TV. You know, we tend to go with Amazon or Netflix or Disney, but um, gosh, it was good. It was a tearjerker. At least, at least it got to me. <laughs> but then... There's a th I have a thing about dads and daughters that I don't know what it is. It just makes me have makes me have tears. Okay, so we've got that much done. Uh, let's see. Let's look at the time. Okay, so just a little bit after eleven. Perfect. So I can get to my friends on time. Okay, I'll probably do the same thing in a different color around this. Just do a running stitch around it. So for something different, let's um, let's attach this tatting here. Um, okay, I'm not using this color. That's big enough. I might be able to do something with it. So I put those pieces in the front of my little needle book here in case I just need a little bit. 
if it's a bigger piece, I wind it around my little thingamajiggies. Okay, I think we will use a similar color. I was just going to see if I have, I have some white. I don't want to use white. Okay. Okay, I'm looking at this and I'm feeling like I need to repos reposition it slightly. Like about right there. So now it's just getting her pinned on there. Okay, now this, I see, I don't even know the names of the stitches really, but I'm going to call this a whip stitch. I don't know if that's really the name of it. <laughs> Some of you that are experienced embroidery people or slow stitchers can correct me. Um, and the difference, as it was explained to me, the difference between slow stitching and embroidery is um, slow stitching is kind of embroidery without a suit, without a hoop, just on the piece. So I don't know if that's right. Again, I'm just repeating what was told to me. It makes sense to me though that that definition. I'm I'm super awkward at this part. <laughs> oh, well, we can't all be good at everything, right? Okay. All right, so we'll get this in, and then we'll do a little on that. I knew I probably wouldn't get this whole thing done in the hour, but. At least you'll, I'm, I'm trying to think of, you know, things to tell you that, that I do that are little chips or whatever along the way. You can let me know if you, if you want to say, Gail, never do a video like that again. <laughs> it was so boring. <laughs> Oh, sorry about that. Okay, so we are just going to start, and I'm just, I, I don't know what this stitch is called. I just call, so I go in, and then I go over to go down. So it's not like straight around, it's sort of slanted. I don't know. So on this... I'm just going to go a couple of places, especially where it turns into another one. So I'm going to go around there. Um, and then I think there's, I don't know if you can see, but there's like this little uh, stitch that attaches each of the circles. I'm going to, I'm going to just do a stitch in that to, go over it and make it go down. And then I think I'll do a stitch in the middle of the circle, like right here. I will tell you, I've learned from watching Rachel's that if you watch this on a bigger screen, like, you know, on your phone or your iPad, how there's the video and there's all the writing down below. Um, if you hit the little thing in the corner of the video screen that has, it's like a little, ch 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 it's a little square, then it'll make your, make your screen bigger. And it is easier to see this if you're on a bigger screen. All of that to say. I'm stopping and sort of straightening it as I go. <clears throat> so I'm just going to do one around the um, transition stitch, I guess you could call it, over to the next um, circle and then one at the top of the circle now that I've gotten started. And really, I'm not even doing the whippy stitch. I'm just doing an in and out at the same spot, and it's working fine. So 
I do the whippy stitch on, um, like if I put a doily flower on or something like that. I don't know. Maybe we should do some purple buttons right there. That'd be fun. See, kind of as I work on the piece, it sort of reveals itself too. I can get the basics down, but then it's like, oh, I could put that there or this here. And so that's kind of fun how it evolves. Just like anything creative, really, I think. I mean, that's how my journals come together is they just sort of say where things should go and where we should go with it. I think that's, too, why I can't ever do any two things exactly the same. <laughs> it just doesn't happen because the piece tells me what it wants to do. Okay. I love this piece of tatting. It's really cool. So as you can see, just popping it in, pulling it, you know, in and out, in and out. It is meditative and it is really relaxing. Um, I absolutely love doing the stitching. I wish I'd wish I had more time for it. Um, now that the days are getting shorter, I don't have um, my light. My lighting isn't good enough in my living room to do when I'm watching TV. Even um, even like uh, fussy cutting or something is just kind of hard to do it's you can't see what I'm doing I have a lamp up there but yeah I don't know so at night I kind of and sometimes at night you know I've been crafting sorry I got that too close to myself again um at night I'm I'm tired I've been crafting all day so sometimes I just want to not. <laughs> when I was working, I crafted every night in front of the TV because that's the only time I had. Okay, so I did that one on the top. Now to go around this edge, I'm going to do every quarter. I'm going to do a stitch. Oops, got myself a little knot there. Of course, that's going to happen. What do we do here? What do we do? This makes my eyeballs go crazy trying to see it. Ooh, there we go. I was, I was scared. I was scared that was going to goober things up. Okay, and then I'll do one here. Like that. And then I'll jump to the next row and do on this side. Okay, now we're back to the same rhythm of doing the top of the circle and the transition piece. I wonder if I'm going to have enough to get this whole thing on without rethreading. Wouldn't that be great? That's always the um, little game I play with myself, too, is <laughs> will the string be long enough? Let's just see. Maybe. I'm happy with this little tatted piece though I'm really glad I included it as I recall I just happened across it in my little lacy scraps and it was like there it is there's the there's the piece that needs to go there it is really just like collage only with fabric kind of you know 
and then and then it's like a journal card so you've collaged the back and then you pick your focal points for to complete it you know in this case it's this believe and the fleur-de-lis i i kind of love the fleur-de-lis because that was um one of the i don't know sign symbols whatever for the college that i used to work at because they are the Carroll College Saints, just kind of like the New Orleans Saints, they use the Fleur de Lis too. So, yeah, football's going to be starting up. Um, and that, I mean, my favorite thing to slow stitch to on TV is sports because, you know, you don't have to be watching every second because there's timeouts and you know whatever and so and thank goodness for instant replay because if something exciting happens and i'm stitching then i can look up and go okay i'm gonna watch the instant replay <laughs> works it works oh i'm getting down to the end of my string but i think i might make it if i can if i can keep the tail from going through the needle We got a good bit done on this though we might be able to finish it up on sunday because saturday we have addie may's first um volleyball matches she's got a double header so excited so we're going to travel to that it's it's in it's uh in the town where my son lives but i think i told you maybe in another video that he and his family won't be there because they're going to, my daughter-in-law's parents are having their 50th wedding anniversary celebration. And I said to my son, don't you just hate it when two fun things happen at once? <laughs> As you know, that's my nemesis, especially after being, um, you know, kind of locked down or whatever you would say for COVID. It's like, okay, now I can do some things and... There's two fun things at once. For instance, going to Denver is at the same time as one of the retreats I go to. So, obviously, the new grandchild takes precedence, but I'm like, oh, I hate to miss my retreat, too. Okay, so there's an itty-bitty thread. That's going into the box. Okay, so we got that done. Let's pick a, oh, so I was going to show you. So I have this, the second string left. And so what I do is I just put it here at the top of my little spool. And I think I have this, um, this, this case, I think I have it on my favorite things. So you'll have to check maybe under organization or something. Okay, so I just I just put it at the very top and wind it around at the top and then um then when I go to use this color again, I'll already have I'll already have one string ready to go. So, and then I just pop it like that. Okay. So, I want to use another one of my purples that I Ooh, this is pretty and goes with that and that. And that one goes with that. I don't know. The darker's speaking to me. So we'll go around that next. I it's always kind of satisfying to take the pins out of the piece, too. It's like, okay, I can take out another pin. <laughs> I don't know. Am I the only one that plays those? Um, those little mind games with myself. I don't know. I might just be weird. There's a good chance of that. Okay, so one, two. There we go. Ooh. Sometimes I don't get them started very well. There we go. That's and then I just I pull my arms apart and the and the thread comes apart. Oh, 
duck on it. Keep attaching myself to my pants. I'm not used to having my stuff all right here either. I kind of spread it out on the couch a bit <laughs> so that I'm not hooking into things. I'll move that a little. Okay. Well, lighter purple. And we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to do a little running stitch around the edge. Attach that on. So speaking of the college where I used to work, they are back in session. They were extremely successful last year. I was so proud of them. Um, they didn't have to shut down or go virtual at all. So I thought that was really cool. Um, they had a great plan. They had, you know, and they had places where they could isolate any kids that came down with COVID. But, um, you know, between the masks and everything, the masks and social distancing, they really were able to, you know, not just, not contain it necessarily, just never have a problem with it. So that was really cool. And um, I saw when they opened, they had a little, always on orientation day, there's tents everywhere. I used to have a tent for um, my job because I hired students to do calling. And um, uh, anyway, they had a tent where the kids could be vaccinated just as they come in as if they weren't already. So that was cool and let's make it super easy for them. I'm scared that this is gonna be too thick, but let's just see if I can pull it through. Sometimes if you pull the first one through, then the second one will come. Okay. Um, yeah, so anyway, um, they're hoping for another another good year that way. And they had on the news, they had some kids talking about how they felt really blessed last year that they were able to have a normal college experience, you know, even though they were masked. And this year they're requiring masks indoors but they can walk around campus without masks. So that's an improvement. Um, okay. This. That's gonna need some tacking down too. There's a little piece of lace. I don't even know if you can see it on camera or it's more like um, a crystalette type of fabric with little dots on it. I put that over some of the other pieces. So it's um, its edges are going to need going to need some tacking down. So yeah, their first their football game is coming up, their first football game and I'd like to get to one of the volleyball games because um one of the freshmen that's playing volleyball is the daughter of the gal who coached my daughter in volleyball at the college. So that would be fun to see. It's always more fun when you know somebody. Oh. I love fall. It's just my favorite season. I love it when, you know, the leaves start to turn and everything and and cool football weather rather than have it be 100 degrees in the stands. <laughs> At the start of the season, it's always a little bit miserable, but I don't know that we'll get to any of those because of watching my granddaughter play. Okay. 
Okay, so now that's attached down. I definitely think it needs some um, needs some buttons. So I will go look for that. So here's the deal, guys. I will um, I will show you this in an upcoming video when it's all done. I don't know when that will be, to be honest. But okay, I think. I think I might go ahead and use this color and I'm going to go across here and I might let that flat I'm going to go across here and I'm going to go down here is where I'm going to go okay I think we we have time to do that so other than the buttons we are going to be pretty well done with this um, this one. Let's see. I think I'll go from here. So we'll be going to Addie's volleyball, but her sister will be playing school volleyball. And my other granddaughter, my son's, or another granddaughter, my son's daughter will be playing too, so we need to get to some of the younger ones too, if we can. So yeah, it'll be <laughs> we're gonna be road warriors this year, but you know, I'm just I'm just nervous that at some point they will say only two spectators per per player, like it was last year. So. That's why we want to take advantage while we can and go see. Okay, yes, yes, I like that. So I'm going to now go down, and I'm not going to tie off. I'm just going to go over, as I was saying before, from here to here. I couldn't use that little of thread if I were to um, tie it off into a knot, cut it, restart a knot, you know, all of that. So... I'm just going to go down that way. Okay, and then I was thinking about doing some French knots in the middle of these. I think I might do that, but I need to do it with the darker. Do I still have, I have a little bit of that? That's not going to be enough. Hmm. So I was thinking, I think we have time to do that too. So let me just tie this one off. I think this one would totally blend in. Yeah, it really would. I mean, I'd rather have it have a little more texture. Okay, well, we are going to... See how, see how speedy I can get another bit of this. And it doesn't have to be super long, I don't think. So. Well, thanks for asking for this, you guys. It's been fun to just do something where I can just chat away. This is a great activity, too, if you're getting together with friends for a little craft because you can just stitch and, I mean, it doesn't take a ton of concentration. Oh, boy. <laughs> Threading the needle is the most, yeah. My, my little fingers, they start to get numb after a while in this glove, but... Um, but it really does help. Actually, the other thing that helps, which of course I don't have when I'm watching TV, is um, being able to rest it on the table while I'm stitching. That also helps. Okay, I'll do one little kind of fancier. 
Let's see, we don't need these pins anymore either. Ooh, I'm pinless. That's exciting. I love that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, okay, we'll start with this one down here. I'm going to go kind of right in the middle of it. And I'm going to wrap my thread like seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I'm going to hold that part with my thumb and go back down as close to the middle as I can. Ooh, ooh, what did I do? Um, this needle is just a little tough this way because it gets tight. Anyway, it's going to make a little dot, but I can't get the thing through. <laughs> when in doubt, get the needle nose. Okay, I want to hold this part, so there we go. See how it's making a little dot right there? That's kind of fun, isn't it? Well, let's do, let's just do these ones. Right in the middle. Okay, and then I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I tried to do it a little looser so that it wouldn't and then hold it. Yep. Did it a little better that time. Oopsie. It's got a little. So it just leaves a little bit of a a bump. <laughs> so once again, just adding more texture to your piece is all. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I have done as many as 10 before if I wanted, if I wanted bigger texture, if that makes sense, a bigger knot like that. Um, I don't know. Maybe we can get one in that one. We'll just, we'll just do it. It might stick out from the and a little bit. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then in with the needle. Hold the wraps with your thumb and pull. There we go. And this last one. Try to get the middle. My my bullseye is not great here. Okay, that's better. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm glad we did that. That gives that a little more personality. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, got that wrapped a little tight. Okay, we have ourselves some dots. <laughs> so let's tie that off. Not sure which way I went in that one. Nope, undid it. There we go. Okay, so there we go. So see those little, see those little dots and they feel cool. So there's our little piece so far. I am going to, um, they're way across the craft room or I would have grabbed them, but I'm going to put some buttons on here. Um, I think that would be, I think that would be fun. I don't have any purple 
I mean, another thing you could do is you could put a flower right there or something, but I think I want buttons. So I will do that and I'll show you the finished, the finished piece when I finish it, when I get those buttons on. So I hope this is what you were requesting and um, thanks for hanging out with me and chatting. <laughs> that was good. So have a grateful day, everyone, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.